Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Spring Hill of Valley map. Out in the back potato field here, I guess. Yeah, it's way off to the side anyway. Started uh, topping it off screen, so I don't take quite so long. I think I'll let this guy go a little bit and we'll do some, uh, maybe we'll start harvesting that barley field. I think it's over that way somewhere. Uh, Tractor-wise, I bought a Kloss. Uh, this is an 826. Never used this tractor before, and I happen to be looking through the tractors like, ah, what haven't I used before? So I pulled this one out, the Kloss 826. I also had a Kloss 850. I uh, pulled that one out as well, and ended up corrupting my saved game with that tractor, though. So, needless to say, that one is no more. Yeah, I cleaned the clock on that one, that's for sure, so. Uh, as far as corrupting my save game, all I had to do was go into it and delete that particular mod out. And then my uh, save game was working again, so. Wasn't too big a deal. That's interesting, he doesn't uh, lower it quite quick enough, does he? Oh well, I'll let him go. Got our potato harvest. Maybe we'll drive that over there in a minute. Got another Kloss. This is a white one. I kind of like the other paint scheme a little better myself. Uh, just because then I know it's a Kloss. A Kloss 8020 Axion. I don't have much in the way of Kloss tractors. I think uh, the, at the one time I had the 3. I had the 850, the 826, and then the 820 here. Now I just got the 826 and the 820. 850, I'll have to say it was a really nice looking tractor, but uh, corrupting your save game is definitely not a cool thing, so. Oh, on our way here, we should uh, stop and look at this too. This is pretty cool. I can fit across this bridge. Uh, looks like I can. It's gotta be the narrowest bridge I've seen yet on this map. I'd say it's a pretty cool view here. Looks like it's deep. Oh, you actually can't even go down, huh? Okay, you actually kind of, uh, how's that, like, swim across the top of the water, I guess? Uh, I'm not sure what it's doing, anyway. Uh, this is a sell point for something, it looks like. Uh, nothing showing up on the PDA, though, so maybe not. British wool. Oh, maybe it's the wool sell point, maybe. Yeah, anyway, over here they got this uh, wheel that's turning. Old wooden wooden wheel. Oop, fell down, that's not good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I've seen this on maps a few times before now. It's probably the same asset used by a couple different mod makers. So this one does look a little different, though, so... It's possible they just changed it up a little bit, you know? Yeah, it's definitely a nice looking tractor, this 820 here. Like I said, I do like the other, the official Kloss paint scheme, I guess it is. Kind of that greenish color on them. Like that one over there has. Overall, though, very nice looking tractor. I'll have to say they did a nice job on this one. 826 is, uh, I mean, that's not great. Not bad, though, either. Anyway, we'll just do some harvesting over on this kind of a funny shaped field here. Got our John Deere 4420. I'll have to say, I do like this combine. Really like them tracks on it. Keep forgetting to do the speed one, though. Also, while we're uh, taking a break from the uh, regular... Uh, what I regularly do, the professional farmer in the Iowa map at the moment. I've been uh, busy cleaning out my mod folder a little bit. Ones that I've never used and never will use, or mods that I've used and didn't like, uh, mods that didn't work, mods that are, you know, really hard on the performance, you know, etc. So, been uh, working on that. I think I've gotten rid of about a dozen mods already. Got a few more I want to get rid of yet, so. 
It's always uh, fun looking through the model and stuff. It's like, okay, I should get rid of that one. But then actually finding which one it is in the uh, mod folder, eh, that's another story. Yeah, sometimes the name of the mod and the name of the folder are two different things. So going and hunting them down is always fun. Uh, that is the one roll potato harvester, by the way. That is something I have never used yet. And I pretty much said I never was going to use. So we're going to use it this one time, probably. And I think I'm going to renew my uh, pledge to never use it again. Or never use it. At least not by myself, anyway. Maybe, you know, get a hired worker to do it. That's, that's one thing, but... I'm actually planning on using it myself this time. Obviously, we won't get too many potatoes harvested that way. Uh, but we'll harvest what we can, and, uh... Yeah, we'll just harvest what we can, I guess. Like I said, we're not staying on this map, so it doesn't really matter what we accomplish. I'll probably just delete the save game when we're done with it, so... That's probably one thing I need to clean up, too, is my save games. I think I have 20... Oh, 22, 23 of them. Yeah, 23 of them, I believe. My uh, Munich Winkle map is number 23 of my saved games. That's my uh, more realistic series. Yeah, I keep popping that message up going down the hill. Every bit here does miss just a little bit. So obviously we are going too fast. I really need to uh, tweak the RPMs a little more yet, probably. Oh, that's a lot of stones on the field there. Why don't you go through there with a scraper and get them out of there. Also, I got the uh, GMC dump truck here. I was looking for my Ural truck, and I'm not sure if I uh, removed it or if it's... Something happened to it. I'm not finding it back, so. I just grabbed the only other truck I knew of that had a somewhat large capacity. And this compound does have a large capacity. Definitely way over what it should. Probably should be more in the 5 6 range instead of the. I believe it's 30,000 if I remember correctly. Actually, looking at it, it might be more than that, just looking at the percentage. Maybe it's 35. It does have indoor sound on this combine, so that's pretty cool. Also, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you should go check out the uh, new trailer put out by Farming or by Giants for Farming Simulator. Or uh, Farming Sim 15, I think they call it the Reveal Trailer or something like that. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Looks pretty good. I particularly like. The, I know I mentioned this before. I particularly like the uh, cultivating part there they had. That looked pretty cool. If you guys have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about there. I'm hoping they've done that for like the plows and then other stuff as well. That'd be pretty cool. And then I will have to say, I don't think I really noticed anything other particularly new in the trailer. Everything else looked pretty standard farming sim to me. Obviously, you know, they got the new equipment and the new uh, forestry bit. On that farming part looked like it was about the same. 
Now, kind of hard to tell from the trailer. We'll actually have to see the actual game and start playing it to know, but... That could change, too. They still have got another couple months to go before it's going to be released. Yes, I know we're going too fast. Unfortunately, not much I can do about it. Okay, I think let's just go to this combine's full. Then I'll know I actually know how much it holds, and then we'll go over to the potato harvesting. I'm sure he's got more than enough top by now for us to uh, harvest. Probably did already to start with, just to you know, get him out of the way more. Yeah, with that one row potato harvester, I hate to think, even though that's a fairly small field, I hate to think how long it actually take if I were to do it myself. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I don't think that thing's even a meter wide, so... Yeah, for those who do want to see me do more potato harvesting, though, we will be doing potatoes on the uh, more realistic series. Over there, I'm using the big, grimy harvester. Not the little one. And even the big one, I probably will hire a worker for that one, so... Okay, we're almost full here. 28,094%. Must be 30,000 it holds. Okay, there we go. That was it. Hey, you can tell I've been playing professional farmer. I go to put the pipe out, push F. Oh, and farming sim. And it's F and professional farmer, by the way, for those who are wondering about that. Uh, don't smash into the tractor. He better brakes on it, apparently. There we go, should fill that uh, truck right up. Yeah, I grabbed this truck. I figured it'd probably be one of the easier things to get down the road with a larger capacity anyway. Anyway, let's do some potato harvesting. I've been looking forward to this. No, I haven't. <laughs> I kind of sort of have, kind of sort of haven't. You know, one of those things. It's like the one meter. I mean, look at that. One row at a time. you got to be kidding me. Actually, what I should I should have probably had the guy go the other way on the field because the rows look like they're running this way. I wonder if I can make that happen yet. Maybe I'll start on this end of the field. Oh, he's making a mess of this. Okay, buddy, you just uh, stop right there, please. You going the other way on the field here. There we go. That should work a little better, I think. That way I can actually follow the actual rows somewhat. Sort of. Kind of, maybe. Okay, harvester is unfolded. This is probably another application, too, where those care wheels would actually be better. However, I'm just, you know, like I said, trying out tractors I've never used or want to use or that are my favorites. 
in this case I've never used these Kloss tractors. Okay, it looks like that's lined up pretty good. Uh, that doesn't quite look right. Yeah, that harvester ain't near that wide. Uh, let's see what's here. Offset. Actually, the offset might be right. Work with. Work with. Definitely is not. I believe, I'd like to say it's 0.8. I'd be wrong on that. Really, that's actually all the offset you'll give me. So you're of no help. Well, actually, you know what? I can still follow down the green line. Uh, no, I can't. Screw the GPS mod. I'll drive it myself. <laughs> okay. Let's turn it on. And we'll drive a straight line, hopefully. Uh, speed 1. Okay, I was going to wonder that. Just going to say, like, bet you this is a speed 1 application again. There we go. Look at all those nice potatoes going in there. Hey, buddy, that's just stopped. Go oh, figure the lazy hired workers nowadays. Let's see, let's rehire them. I'm sure we won't need any more than this topped anyway, but. Yeah, look at that little bit harvested there. Ouch. Yeah, looks like we're keeping it right on where it needs to be, though. Can't really see it from the cab, though, can I? Actually, you know what? I think course play will tell me how wide this is, if I remember correctly. Point eight. Ah, I was right. I thought it was point eight. Come on. There we go. Switch that to that. I always like to put it on the left control. That way I don't accidentally bring it up. You can drive through these trees, I'm hoping. Yes, you can. done two lanes already. It won't tell me how many lanes I have to do, though, will it? What I could do is drive to the other end of the field and tell me how many lanes. I'd be kind of uh, curious to know how many times I'd actually have to go up and down this field to actually finish it. I'm thinking that's going to be a lot. folks have any bets on how many it actually would be? I'm thinking 250. Up and down the field 250 times maybe? How's that sound?
Yeah, how many times do you think it'd actually take me to go up and down this field? If I did it myself, or, you know, anybody did it. Hired workers, you know, course play, whatever. How many times would they have to go up and down this field to actually do it? Like I say, I'm thinking 250. Could be high, it could be low, I'm not sure. I think this is one of the bigger fields on this map. Still not big, mind you. But apparently I don't own it. Interesting. I guess I can harvest it, though. Yeah, I just happened to see the buy icon floating in the middle there. I'm pretty sure that's what be for this field. Oh, I thought I purchased this field. Maybe not. Maybe with the uh, corruption of the saved game there, I'm not sure how much got saved or if I lost anything. I have no idea. Check that. Uh, no, it says I don't own it. So apparently I can harvest it without owning it. But that's pretty standard, I guess. Usually you can harvest it. It's the uh, cultivating, plowing, and planting you usually can't do. Number, I don't know how you look at number seven, I guess. Somewhere between number seven and number six. I think that sounds about right. I need a trailer of some type to unload this, probably. That's the pipe out. I think that just raises, yeah, raises that piece up. That's all that does. But it does raise it up a fair ways, too, don't it? Okay. Oh, we are full. Okay. I'm thinking probably another one of those GMC dump trucks might be the best. Yeah, I don't see my Ural truck. I'm not sure what happened to it. One more trailer. I'm probably going to get rid of that one because I don't like the missing subcategory if I can help it. Now I got a couple of these already. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was thinking it was in the miscellaneous category, but I couldn't uh, find it there last time, so let's grab the URL truck. There he is. Probably look a little more appropriate on this map than the uh, GMC one. That'd be more American. This would probably be more Russian. Also a little bit shorter, so probably a little easier to get down this uh, map. Roads. Map, the roads on this map. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that is one of the things I've noticed. Do not get off the roads on this map. Get off the edge a little bit and you will be stuck. That is a tight turn here. Hey, I can tell there's no speed limit on this road. Flying. Oh, we're flying. 
Ooh, I just have to think something. I wonder if this uh, goes high enough. Well, I think it does. I have to think of another thing. I hope it holds potatoes. Ah, it does. Okay. Small potatoes. Okay, be quiet there. I think in real life, if you grow potatoes, at least the ones I've seen anyway, they tend to leave a lot of space at the ends of the field. I'm assuming, you know, probably for turning around and the such. Now, don't even bother with the headlands, they just uh, leave a lot of end at the end of each field so they can turn around. Not planted or anything. Look out. What is he doing? I'd ask him, but I don't think he knows himself, so... Yeah, one row at a time. Yeehaw. Well, at least you can't say I haven't been doing too bad of jobs so far. I haven't missed much. Actually, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Did I? I might have done this on my uh, Westbridge Hills map. I don't remember. I know I did sugar beets. I can't remember if I did potatoes, though. say I didn't because I don't think I ever would uh I don't think I bought this thing if I remember correctly I actually have to go back and check maybe I didn't I'm not sure now like I said I know I did sugar beets oh missing a little bit there oh well Kind of trying to straighten the row out a little bit, too. I think I was keeping my rows straighter in the cab than I was outside the cab here.
Yeah, I'm not sure what that topper guy's doing, but uh, okay. Looks like he's just driving around the field now. I'll have to say we did get more done than I thought we would. Although we're definitely not even close to having the field done. <coughs> oh, we're full again. Okay, there we go. And that's probably a good place as any to call it an episode, but before we do, let's hear them bets on how many uh, rows we actually uh, would have to do here. So, we were up to... Oh, it's going to do the one behind me. We were up to, uh, let's just call that 11, somewhere between 11 and 12 there. You know, the thing about farming sim, we go in that narrow, the game engine can't even handle it, actually, hardly. There's a hundred. Now, this field is a little bit wider at this point. I'll just go into this spot here, that's, you well, know, that looks like about halfway there, maybe. Looking at about 215, 224. Go all the way to this end. I hope we're past 250. 288. And I'm not, it might be a little off on that side, so we could probably say 290 for a nice even number. So 290 times up and down this field. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no thanks. Anyway, folks, with that, we'll call it an episode. We'll call it an end to my 1,000 uh, subscriber special. This is episode 5 on the Spring Hill Valley map. Like I say, folks, if you have not checked it out, you should. Definitely one of the uh, better maps out there. It's a small map, but it looks really good with the details. That's what I really like to see in maps. Lots of nice little details. So anyway, folks, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and uh, tomorrow we'll continue with... I believe it's Professional Farmer's the one up next. So, till next time.